So I didn't see my screen was shared, right? As you know, already we were discussed about the thing that is meant by contour, right? Contour. So contour, as you know, that is the same elevated points, right? So same oral points. If we are going to join that points by using a imaginary line, that means we can able to draw in different conditions. So some of the members will draw a line between the two points is using a linear some will use a parabolic curve some will move in a zigzagging section a free hand join right so that means where we need to draw that is completely depends upon the neighboring points neighboring points or else right so that we have to keep in our mind how to draw the imaginary line mm -hmm. So as you know, we have a various terms, various conditions was said to join the line in between the two points. Okay. But when it's coming to here, the imaginary line, right? So the imaginary line means we can able to imagine the slope where it will be occurring. But suppose if you are going to join the two line, two points with the same elevations, that means if the joining line, wherever you have to pick up within the line, the line should be have a same elevation. Okay, that we have to keep in our mind. So not only the points on the line itself, also same elevation will be there. So that is the representation of contouring line. <coughs> See here, as you know, what is the meant by contour? And the, if the map shows the contour lines, that we can call as if there is a contouring map. Contour rings, right? The process of trace out the contour lines. Okay, from the map, we have to trace the contouring lines that is meant by contouring. Because these things, that is the purpose of contouring. So we have a various purposes was there, right? One is the preparing the contour map, and to allowing the canal lining for road backings, and also to know the capacity of the reservoir <coughs> for railway sections, alignment of railways, right? And for getting the information about the ground weather conditions. So the ground conditions means where it is how much of it was gradient for example in hilly areas or mountain regions in undulating surface very heavy undulating surface was there or otherwise if in case of any breakdown of rocks right so that we have to know by using of this contour maps okay and contour interval and horizontal equivalent so what is this two things means contour interval contour interval means there is a difference between the one contour rl to the another contour rl so that means vertical difference between the successive contouring lines right so the difference the contouring interval should be same in any point okay so there is no much variation once you have to select the contour interval that will be maintained from starting to ending of the line there is no much difference the contour interval will be same right and next coming the horizontal equivalent that is a horizontal distance between the two successive contouring lines right so horizontal distance will be varied depends upon the ground condition okay so horizontal equivalent it should, it should not be standard value why because the point to point the difference the distance between the two contour lines will be varied okay 
factors which the contour interval depends okay so we have a various terms that is one of the nature of the ground right so if the nature of the ground is not near flat surface as we know that right so so many undulations so many uneven surfaces very steep or uniform gradient slopes will be there right suddenly there will be a vertical cliff right that is breakdown of rocks will be there so that conditions will be happen in the nature of the ground and next the purpose and extent of the survey so as we are doing our surveying in our laboratory that is different as compared to the impractical conditions as we have laid on of the road right so and that means it depends upon the survey if you are doing in your laboratory means for the for practicing work it may different as compared to the practically you have to implement the section that means purpose is a must and should if the purpose is efficient then you work will be also efficiently you have to do without any errors right and next scale of the map the scale they show right so the scaling of the map will be with various conditions i mean one can represent the representative factor another will represent in scale ratio right like that so the intervals should be constant or not some will take the interval as a constant and some will take as a interval de depends upon the contouring rls okay the small scale has the greater is the contour interval okay and time and expense of the field and office work time and expense of the field and office work so time is also dependent if you have if you need more accuracy it takes more time for the more accurate right so field and office work as we know that whatever we are going to observe whatever we are going to test in the field that we have to maintain in a one of the field book within the field book we have to represent the observed readings okay so observed readings we have to represent in the field book that we have to maintain that is meant by office work <coughs> common values for the common uh, contour intervals so here they have represented the contour interval for large scale of flat countries so if the country has i mean if the surface area where we are going to implement the experiments in that area it was a very steep slopes was there always nearly flat surface was there in that conditions we go for the i mean what is it called interval it should have a 0.2 to 0.5 meters for the reservoirs and town plannings we go for the 0.5 to 2 meters so we have broken rocks and topographical conditions uh, that is natural features of the, the ground in that case we are going to uh, take the interval of 3 meters 5 meters 10 meters or 20 feet 20 meters that is depends upon the condition what is the condition means as we know we uh, can take as a one is the example of near our shehadi hills in the topographic topographic view we have a various uh, slopes and various steeper slopes and uh, suddenly it may fall in the vertical cliffs right like that we have a various conditions there and saddle will be there right in that case we can take as a 
if you are going to take the interval of 0.2 meters means it may it may have very far away distance very larger area will be there we need to calculate in that case you you are going to take very small intervals means it takes a lot of time right if the i mean if you are going to lady a road that is a god road in that case we go for the 0.2 to 0.5 meters just in we need to know the elevations in different conditions in that case we go for the 3 meters 4 meters or 10 meters up to 50 meters or 100 meters also in the mountains we go for the 100 meters also okay next the characteristics of the contour here what are the characteristics of the contour means all points in a contour line have the same elevation that we know but because same elevated points only we have we are going to join right so but by using up one of the imaginary line but it is parabolic curve only right not only in the parabolic curve the elevation where it will be same along the direction we have to join the line between the two points and next time you the flat ground is indicated where the contours are widely separated right and still so when they are run close together so as we know that the contour lines it should not intersect or coincide or overlap with one another right so if in case of it may comes very closure then means where we have a very steeper slope suddenly falls will be there in that case it may occur right and uniformly slope is indicated when the contour lines are uniformly spaced that means the horizontal equivalent is also same when when it will be same if the contour lines are uniformly spaced right if the contour lines are uniformly spaced means then your horizontal equivalent also same the plan the plane surface when they are striped parallel and equally spaced <clears throat> if you are going to take a, one of the reservoir right reservoir are born in that case what we are doing is we are going to implement the gradial right sorry radial contour lines we are going to implement in that case it will happen the lines, I mean, the contour lines are right parallel to to each other and equally spaced okay but that's it was artificially made the, the hill was there the hill for this hill here on the left side image we have drawn a contour lines okay this contour line for example if you are going to assume this is an elevation of 100 meters right so this is the elevation of 100 meters that means at the bottom of the hill right at the top of the hill we are assuming that there is a hundred this this one is hundred and this will be 110 and 120 and this will be 130 okay if the values will be increased from outer to inner that is meant by hill if the values will be decreased from outer to inner that is meant by valley okay so this is one of the depression that is meant by valley see here here we have one of the bond in the area was it okay the left side image 
this contour lines has represented in the right side image okay so that means here the value of rl is 100 this will be 95 and this will be 90 if we go along the internally so this will be 85 or 80 like that that means that is the representation of depression on valleys <coughs> and continuous of the characteristics so see here here they have represented one of the hill right that is the elevation of 80 this is the 80 elevation and 75 70 65 60 okay so these are the various elevated points was there see here for this hill they have represented one of the contouring lines <coughs> The contour lines observed carefully, the value was increased from outer to inner. So outer is 60 meters of elevation, RL value, and 65, 70, 75, 80. So like that, the value was increased from outer to inner. So that is meant by hill. But it's coming to the depression. See here, the outer ring, right? So the outer contour line will be have the elevation of 80 meters while moving it towards the inside the value will be decreased. So the value is 80, 75, 70, 65, 60. Okay. And next come into the ridge line. In the mountains, in the some what is the term? In the hilly areas, there is one of the ridge line. According to that, the water, the water will move along the direction of the slope. Okay, so that means naturally, it was formed one of the line to move the water from one place to the another by its own gravitational force. Okay, if the curve bends, right? If the curve bends inside, okay, are loop in the contours, so this is calling as a ridge line. If the curve or the outside, the bend will be there, means this is meant by value. Here, the values see this value, the values represented within the curve, so that is meant by ridge. If the values represent out on the line on the curve line that we are calling as a values okay so that means the value where we need to represent that is also must and should and previously we were discussed that where it will occur the intersecting the con different elevated contour lines right so for the condition of overhanging cliff as you know what is meant by overhanging right so overhanging in the sense one end is fixed and another will be free but is the position of cantilever condition so cantilever will be same as a overhanging here why because the overhanging is within the within between the to suppose that we are calling as a beam if the extends the beam over the support the distance from the support to the which it was i mean from where to where it was extended that we are calling as a overhanging such so a same thing here also the hill was overhanged that means the sum of the stove was elaborated like that okay so for this case it starts, see here, the 10 meters of elevation. 10 meters of elevation was started here to here. But we have drawn a contour line from here itself. See here, the contour line is this one. The dark line indicates the contour lines. By using of this contour line, we are going to calculate the area and this dotted lines see here here they have mentioned one of the dotted line curves this contour lines we need to eliminate it we need to 
neglect the by using of this target value why because here there is no hill was there some of the free space will be there right so we should eliminate such the such kind of values already we have included okay so that we need to neglect the value by within the calculated value okay and next coming to the overhanging cliff <coughs> see here here we have a same elevation that is 20 30 40 meters has end with one line that means one vertical cliff was said it was starting with or ending with one particular point so there is an elevation of 20 30 40 right so these three elevations will start or move one from what particular position right so that is meant by vertical clip and saddle so here so what is the saddle means see this one measuring of this image you can able to observe clearly understand that what is meant by saddle at the bottom of the hills at the toe of hills it has same elevation but here we have a two different projections was there but these two hills join i mean very close to each other right in that case we have a see here for the same elevation it will move it should not move like this why because the elevation will be higher here okay the rl value will be higher in that case what we are doing we have to draw any one of the line so like this that means it may cover the two hill areas okay and methods of control we have it two methods one is direct method other one is indirect method direct method and indirect method what is the difference means in the direct method for example if you have a one of the value i will give another example so direct method so what is the value if you are going to calculate the rls for the different stations if we have 98.6 has the rl most of the points so that means you already you have calculated so many stations so most of the points has a 98.6 rl was there in that case what we can do we have to join the line okay so that is the direct method what is the value we are getting that we have to take in as a contour value based on the value you have to join the points that is the same elevations same or all points see here they have taken as a 46 48 and 50 that means uh, they are not decided before going to test the experiment so after tested and know the and calculated the orders after then they have decided the line onto line value okay and this is a meant by procedure as you know how to keep the station how to level up and uh, centering right leveling centering after then how to focus the station how to place the leveling stuff where we need to place the leveling stuff first of all right so that are the things will have given clearly step by step procedure just go to this ppt right and has given the one of the example also if the height of the instrument is 82.48 meters so 82.48 meters means <coughs> that is the height of the instrumental axis okay then the staff readings then the staff readings to locate 82 81 and 80 meters contours or see here the staff readings required to locate 82 81 and 80 meters contours are 
1.48 and 2.48 meters respectively. So that means 82 meters, we are getting the stamp reading is 0 0.48, 81 has 1.48 and 80 has 2.48. The staff is held on an approximate position of points and then move up and down the slope until the desired reading is obtained. Then the point should be marked and placed at the peg. So already I told you this is the radial lines for the point or reservoirs, right? So radially we have we have drawn here one of the lines. From there onwards we have to take as a contour lines. Okay, with the equally spaced distance. As you know, why it happens? Point has a notch artificially created, right? the same slopes and the same banking will be there that's why we are getting the horizontal equivalent for the contour line to line will be same okay next time we do the inlet method within the inlet method we have a only by squares in that method see here complete field as we have split it into the i mean form a grid formation with the regular intervals i have given you one side i mean one row i have given you its naming of a b c d e f g right another side one two three four five six lines so column has given you a b c d e f g and rows has one two three four five six and this point that means near to the point, this we can call as a A1, and this is A2, A3, and this is a B3, C3, D4, D4 right? So this is a E4, and this is a F4, and this is a G4. Like that, we have given you each and every intersected point names. Okay. So at the first, what we are doing, we have placed here one of the instrument station. So where we need to place the instrument station means so most of the points are all over points need to be visible at from one particular place that we have to choose and select it to place the instrument station. Okay. The instrument station will be within this grid or out of the grid. Okay whatever it may be, where it will be there or not. We can't able to select that one. So, because of what is our aim, we need to traversing is the machine sure. That means traversing is there from station to the each and every point. If the traverse will be there, okay, so automatically we can able to place the leveling staff, focus the leveling staff. I mean, by using our telescope, we have to focus and back towards the leveling staff and get the valve. Of getting the value, you have your two methods for Z. One is the height of instrument method, and one is rise and fall method. Use any one of them, any one method to calculate the RL spot to every station that is meant by from A1 to G6. Okay. So you have calculated and know the values of RLs. That is A1 is 100.8 and G6 is 99.4. Like that you have to place it each and every station RLs. Okay. Now what we are doing is, this is the indirect method. Indirect method means already I have fixed the contour lines before I am tested the experiments. I don't know the values of the each and every station. Before that, I have selected to draw a contour lines of 99, 100, 101, 102. Okay. So these are the contour lines I have fixed to draw the within the given area. 
so I need to what I should do means here I have a 98.5 and 98.7 within this 99 value maybe Kauchu Rakabochu right so and they slightly you have to observe from here to here 98.5, 98 98.7, 98.9, 99.1, 99.3, 99.4 that means from G1 to G6 the gradient of the slope will be slightly increasing right so that means I mean based on these values you have to observe 99 the value of RL it should not intersect in between 98.5 to 98.7 right like that we have to choose and select the main time where it will come okay not only in the vertical way we have to move in a horizontal directions also see here within this row also 98.9 here 99.1 what is the difference in between these two values means 0.2 right so 0.2 is the difference 98.9 99 99.1 that means 0.2 is the difference totally this grid formation has 10 lines okay graph to draw this same to generate the a grid to grid 10 lines in time so 0.2 10 lines means ls pictures which local line is 0 0.05 ga consider it right so 0 0.05 no, right 0 0.05 and the next line will be comes 0 0.1 okay. that means 0 0.02 will be taken for the each line okay local line 0 0.02 ga consider cheskunnamo ante so appudu ekkada vastundi otherwise we go for the interpolation method okay so in by using of interpolation method you can able to select the where it will come okay 99 exactly in between the route mostly you will see the day the total of the point to point to go over to my glass in 99 right and the exact half law on to the gravity so i can mention change you i like it such a same way here also 99.1 98.9 okay so i can also maybe then place just going to the point located just for now I like a 99 on the contour line that is it so the same way same process I followed for this 100 elevation also next or not one okay or not two so maybe a lot of the routes with a 99 you can go to the sun together right I'll honest cancer chain that day okay so I'm taking a mic in the e elevation point so it can see I mean G1 to G6 increase in the end not only in the direction here observe from G1 to A6 here 98.7 99.100 100 100.8 right so 101 point three one or two point and it increase out on grain slope on it okay so based on this they have been drawn here these are the lines the lines draw chase it up to the can be Okadani Kokoti, coincide cargo do, meet out, intersect cargo, intersect Indi and Taka, what cut cliff, not to mark the make, so what can cliff for chance into me, right? So in that method, square method, in some of the discussion, we say, see here, you can values one for chai, 98 elevation points in join just so line draw this up, that is a 98 contour line. Same 98 Malina Kikaruda sound gravity, so underlying contour line with the 98 meters, 98 meters of oil tone, and you can include a line with a rather stone. Right? Alliance, you can see large janga la muka wood. Okay? So, this is the one of the example how to draw the contour lines. The important points within the square may be taken when required and located by the measurements. Okay? The square plotted and the reduced levels of the corners are written on the plan. See here. 
ఈ ఒక నాకు డిప్రెషన్ బాధిస్తే ఒక ఫోన్ కానీ చెరువు కానీ ఏదో ఒక ఉంది అనుకున్నాం హాయ్ ఒక డిప్రెషన్ ఉంది అక్కడ నుంచి మనకు సిక్స్టీ సెవెన్ సిక్స్టీ ఎయిట్ సిక్స్టీ నైన్ సెవెంటీ సెవెంటీ వన్ చూడండి ఇక్కడ మనకు ఇలా డిఫరెంట్ కండిషన్స్లో మూవ్ అవుతా ఉంది ఇట్ షుడ్ నాట్ ఓవర్లాప్ విత్ వన్ అదర్ ఓకే సో ఇక్కడ మనకు ఆల్రెడీ సిక్స్టీ నైన్ ఉంది ఇక్కడ సిక్స్టీ నైన్ ఎలివేషన్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఓకే అంటే ఈ లైన్స్ అనేవి మనం ఎలా డ్రా చేయాలంటే నాట్ ఓన్లీ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద వాల్యూస్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్ఎల్స్ ఆర్ఎల్ వాల్యూని బేస్ చేసుకొని మనము ఇవి డ్రా చేయకూడదు వి హ్యావ్ టు విజిట్ ద పర్టికులర్ సైట్ సో పర్టికులర్ సైట్ వెళ్ళి విజిట్ చేసి అక్కడ ఎలా ఉంది కండిషన్స్ దాన్ని బేస్ చేసుకొని మనం ఏం చేయాలి ఇక్కడ కౌంటర్ లైన్స్ అనేవి డ్రా చేయాలి మనం విజిట్ చేసిన ఏరియాకి మన అజంప్షన్లో ఇక్కడ వచ్చిన వాల్యూస్ ఎలా వచ్చాయి ఓకే సో ఆ వాల్యూస్ అజం చేసుకొని దాన్ని బేస్ చేసుకొని ఒకవేళ మనకు వేరీ అయినా కూడా మన విజిబుల్ రైట్ మనం ఏదైతే అబ్జర్వ్ చేసామో దాన్ని బేస్ చేసుకొని మనం ఇక్కడ ఫిగర్ అనేది రావాలి కౌంటర్ లైన్స్ అనేది డ్రా చేసుకోవాలి నెక్స్ట్ అజ్ యు నో సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద డయాఫ్రామ్ ఇంటాక్ట్ మెథడ్ మనం యూజ్ చేసుకొని టాక్యోమెట్రిక్ మెథడ్ టాక్యోమెట్రిక్ మెథడ్లో మనకు డిస్టెన్స్ పాయింట్ అవుట్ చేయడానికి వీ హ్యావ్ ఎవరి మొత్తం ఫార్ములా దట్ ఈస్ బి ప్లస్ టు కేఎస్ ప్లస్ సి కే అండ్ సిఆర్ టాక్యోమెట్రిక్ కాన్షియస్ కే ఇస్ ఆల్వేస్ హండ్రెడ్ ఆర్ నియర్ టు హండ్రెడ్ సి విల్ బి జీరో ఆర్ అదర్వైజ్ నియర్ టు జీరో ఓకే so that are the common values so k is a multiple constant and c is the additive constant okay how we are going to calculate the value k s plus c as you know what is meant by k and c that is a tachymetric constant and s is a staff intercept staff intercept means that is the distance between upper study ahead to lower study ahead so this is meant by upper study ahead and this is the central central cross ahead and this is a lower study ahead the difference between upper and lower study ahead that is meant by staff intercept okay so based on that staff intercept we will know the distance between the instrument station to the object okay see here all that they have given the is uh, study caution is always 100 usually 100 and interpolation of the contours so if you know the interpolation you can able to select the points by i mean know that where it will be getting the points okay by automatically calculations this is a very tedious but accurate method suppose a and b are two points that means how we are going to calculate the interpolation see here if you have two points a and b at a distance of 30 meters and the rl of a and b has 25.45 and 27.454 meters respectively so rl of a is 25.45 rl of b is 27.54 in between the two stations is distance 30 meters take the contour contour interval as 1 meter take the contour interval as 1 meter that means we have to draw a one of the line between the two stations one interval undi i mean 1 meter distance undi vidhanga two contour lines draw the line one is 26 and another is 27 meters so contours may be interpolated and then aku e rendered with the 30 meters also 30 meters do naku 25.45 years in the starting inko kuda chi a b degree vachi 27.54 meters of rl undi i have to draw a rl of 26 and 27 the difference of the rls a and b is 2.09 meters and the end with the difference of chi vertical difference rls which is 2.09 meters the difference of, of 
the level between A and B. Okay, A and B. See here, sorry, A and 26. So 25.45 ki 26 ki madhya difference. Okay, and A and 27. 25.45 ki 27 ki difference. So there is a 0.45 and another one is 1.55 meters respectively. Therefore, the hollow distance between the A and 26 meters contours. Okay, so I don't know how difference and I in with the 30 meters. Okay, A and 26 meters. Ki market difference and the 0.55 total ka difference which is 2.09. You remember the difference 2.09 point five five. You can keep 26 key at 26 there. The all out our difference of chip point five five divided by total difference. You can see 26 key point five five. You can see total addition center. You can see the key 2.09 difference into right x. Uh, all conditions is from here to here is x divided by here to here is 30. A station the gun and I could all chip twenty seven point I mean B the gun. Right? So So this is the point of A and this is the point B. So you can have 25 point 25.45 elevation that as, as I am assuming as is zero, right? And it's zero the grade eight on the done 25.45 ga assume this and 27.54 and the equivalent. Now vertical difference and the Difference of she two point zero nine. So the value of she two point zero nine, right? And the vertical difference of China two point zero nine. People now to right. Just assume. So this is a twenty six. So 
okay so this line is 26 and this line is 27 i need to know this height and the erl kaval now okay so erl kavali ante na 26 degara unde rl kavali ikunte already na kendi at the point of e degara 25.45 undi 26 degara kavali so total distance na gelsu right e rendu me the difference anta okay so vertical difference ante ee height telsu naku ee x kavali ante ee distance ikka nunchi ikkada ki entundi anedi kavali So, e distance ni x and kula. Right? So, e x kawal. x kawal and range ali. If you have 25.45 undi. E vertical height tells you not already. In the so 25.45. I mean 26 minus 25.45 in the 0 0.55. So 0 0.55 is the height delta. If you now x can call it is chance. Okay. So x divided by 30 and the distance. It is x and go now. Right. X divided by 30 equals to then the Naku 0.55 divided by 2.09 and a e height 0.55 divided by 2.09 equals to x divided by 30 meters. Okay, so just say then you will get the x value x equals to m of the 0.55 divided by 2.09 into 30. Okay, so you can already mention this. 0.55 divided by 2.09 into 30 meters okay so then you will get that where it will cause us that means there is the distance of x and the x addition cells only right such a same way you need to calculate the distance between from a to here 27 elevations right so already you know the value of 27 here what the difference is 1.55 okay so vertical difference is 1.55 so there is a value here right so is even equal 1.55 and also and it can right so you need to know the distance from here to here E distance calculate jay okay again you have to take uh, that is uh, one of the x this is the x1 and this is the x2 x2 by 30 equals to 1.55 divided by 2.09 okay so by using of this interpolation method i mean this is not a interpolation this is also one of the interpolation method for uniformly varying loads okay because this law uniform varying loads law how we are going to calculate the intensity of the load in between the triangle right so all our case flow we are going to implement this method so the same method we have calculated for this condition also right and by graphical method by using of graph graph used to assume and draw as say within the graph for the divisions 55 to 60 we have a 10 lines was there so our 10 lines will actually cross out on the within the way we have to select it and draw one of the line where it is linear or parabolic or otherwise hyperbola now it depends on conditional base okay and draw the contour lines how we are going to draw the line by using the smooth curve by freehand okay so we have to smooth the curve, single line the curve on it, draw this to the line. Okay. I'll draw this then you will get the exact contouring lines.
use of control map already we have we have discussed with this one right in the go on ac factors such a same thing this also use of the control maps so control will be over and we have a one more topic was there in our second unit right that we will discuss in our next class okay is there any doubts in this contouring unit If you have any doubt, no doubt, and that's when later is happening, right? Is Ashwini? No doubt. No doubt. Until when later, until then. Okay. Post your attendance in the chat box. మా లెఫ్ట్ అయిపోవచ్చు మా పోస్ట్ చేసిన వాళ్ళు 